Welcome back to Project Ozone. Reloaded. I hope you guys liked that little animation. I had a lot of fun making that and it turned out perfectly. Um, on the first episode, I think it was Tim commented on it and said my base didn't look very nice. So you know what? I'm gonna fix that. I mean, like I said, I think last episode, uh, I do have plans for a base upgrade. Or I do have base plans, I guess. Um, I just needed to get a little bit of things started. Uh, here we have a solar panel three. It isn't actually putting power into there, but at least it's putting power into our auto sieve. Sieve what have you um which is good the fleeting wisp wherever he went i brought him back which gives me that step assist also got uh diamond pants of swiftness but brought him back because i realized if i'm gonna move this thing i don't want 801 double compressed cobblestone so that's like 801 so 16 thousand sixteen thousand cobblestone i don't really want that going anywhere um so i was trying to figure out how to make a cardboard box or tape and tape you can do uh coagulated blood which if this guy dies in here once that gives us 160 blood which is what we need to get uh exactly one of these um exactly one ball of blood here we do have some paper because I opened some loot bags. Had some in here. Um, also have died a couple, couple more times in the nether trying to get stuff. But yeah, that is that. That lava. Can we fit any more lava in there? No, not quite. We have, yeah, we're slowly building up some maniolin, trying to get, we have a pickaxe head here, trying to get a sword blade out of it as well. But we need this packing tape. Let's just pull that out of there. That should stop the cobblestone production. Nice. Oh, and blood moons, so annoying. So now we can tape this up and then we can mine it, pick it up, and it has the content sealed within. You can see that there, which is awesome. So let's take that. We're just gonna break the crucible. I don't think that'll give us anything, but that is fine. Um. Take this water and put this water just over there. Now destroy the lava source. Okay, so Fleeting Wisp, super annoying. Um, we'll have to figure out how to make him disappear again. But, yeah, just take that out. Oh, yep. oh no, that's not good. <laughs> well, I thought I was holding shift. All right. And I don't feel tired right now. Awesome. Well, that should mean that the fleeting wisp is gone. Anyways. Well, thanks to our nice uh, super magnet. When, uh, oh, eight block range. Cool, it does say. Um... When we went down to collect our items, we only lost one. Unfortunately, that one item we lost happened to be our pickaxe. So, we are now... Oh, because of that bloody... I'm just getting rid of you. You're just in the way. There we go. Apples! Alright, an apple tree. Not really that tall. Do I have to bone meal? I can't shift them. Oh well, we'll just fire through some bone meal here. Gather up a bunch of apples. I forgot that we could make fruit trees, so 
I've been just trying to harvest oak trees. Anyways, this is where we'll uh, start because this is where the bedrock is, right down there. All right. Loot chest. Ooh. Okay. Pretty good. Amulet of growth. Don't think I need that. Increases mining speed. Yeah, I'll take it. Don't know what those are, but those look like fancy transport pipes. Me, yeah, not excited. Can't provide four RF per tick. Okay. This is oh, destroys fluid, destroys items. I see. That's why they're not that good. More of that and. Um, uh, crap. Uh, read flat lamp, tinted glass. All right, I'm not really sure what this, uh, oh, I need more gold. Whoop. Uh, what this better furnaces mod is. I guess, uh, whatever. But... It gives us more loot boxes. Might as well check it out. Need one of those guys and one of these guys, which requires smooths. Oh man. Well, we have a <laughs> all the way up to diamond furnace. Did use up some of my diamonds here. So let's put them right there. Yeah. Of those guys put something like that in there and let's get some tiny charcoal mini charcoal just to do the rest this may be faster not too sure I can't really tell Oh, chest. That's what we're missing. All right, that should be. This quest, oh, except for maybe the better furnaces, electric heat source. Oh, I don't think I have that much redstone. Nope. All right, I was unable to still haven't got enough redstone for this one but we do have some more here that we can claim did finish off the rest of these cast ones so we got a crossbow cast set up which i'm sure we will make at some point all right cool Uh, yeah. Oh no. Anyways, we get to find out. Ooh, fancy lamps. Love it. Fuel efficiency upgrade. Nice. We'll uh, use that. Aristotle. Order heart. Jukebox and another record. And. Another Xanite ring. Titan again. All right, well, we have uh, woohoo! One extra life. Which, I mean, it's not like we use anyways. Oh, and those don't stack. Yeah. Well, I guess I've been a little busy since that last clip. I just went back and watched it because I've added in a couple more of these survivalist generators. Those guys are still generating. Uh, we're doing some gravel. Got some gravel going through here now. I 
have made myself a pickaxe and a sword. I called, I named the sword because I just learned that that's something you can do in a tool station. I uh, don't have a name for a pickaxe, so if you guys have a good name, let me know. And we have resistance for some reason. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, oh, it might might be this uh, this wand here. Let's see if we put that away. Yeah, okay. So that wand, which I want to show you guys that wand. Sort of trying to keep things organized. Don't know if it's working. Uh, we've been to the nether. Gold horse armor. Been to the nether, set up this again, trying to get some more dirt to expand this platform. You can see it's going all the way out there now. Sort of rounded off these corners. I should add one more in there. This uh, unbreakable builder's wand is coming in handy. Yeah, was in the nether. I uh, killed a bunch of things. Got a couple wither skulls. Uh, a couple zombie pigment skulls. Got a couple loot crates. Or uh, loot bags. And I have some here. I have opened up a bunch already. But we can see, so that's an artifact sword, or artifact. Damage resistance, jump boost, digs big holes, effective pickaxe, converts to emeralds when dropped. What do you, what do you think converts to emeralds when drops, dropped me? No. <laughs> Doesn't do that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Here I do have... Uh, the iron amulet, amulet of fresh air. I lost my growth one. Let's see. Oh, there's some golden armor. Or chance cubes, some iron boots. Another jade. And a blacker lotus. Nice. Definitely take that. Sensing gold helm. Night vision. Cool. We'll, uh, we'll swap that one out, oh, except it gives us these particles. Okay, well, we're going to keep that in there. Might try it out at night. I did have this one on, but again, the water breathing. Um, water breathing caused the particles. All right, so this wand here, rejuvenating gold wand of armor. So it provides resistance, heals the player, and allows sneaking on air. So I can come up here, hold shift to sneak, and then just continue off. So I'm just floating. And also, if I hold shift and jump, I can just jump and climb in midair. Yeah, yeah, it hurts when I fall. So... That's a cool thing. I don't know how much damage it does, but uh, definitely something I want to hang on to. We also have this uh, diamond helmet to match our pant legs, which uh, doesn't look like it does much protection, just because it just sits on the top. But it provides saturation as protection, so it'll be good. Um... Harvest some apples. Did have some wheat. So this is how I've been getting, or how I got moss for uh, these tools. Because mossy cobblestone, you can do it with wheat, a uh, water bucket, so or water bottle even. And some cobblestone will turn into moss stone. So a very easy way to get moss to put on your tools, which will give you auto repair. Um, but yeah, plan is, well, this might start raising up and off that way and I'll start actually building my base and then all this janky um, sky block standard base stuff can come down because it's not the prettiest but it's sort of what we got to do in order to get started we got to gather up all this dirt so we can build ourselves a platform this over here is savannah 
So that's why the grass is a little interesting. I think this is river, the slimy river, and then just straight into deep ocean. So we have ocean and desert off that way. Here comes a blood moon. Let's uh, make sure I got everything lit up. Looks like it. You can use F7 um, to get um, the mob spawning overlay. But as the blood moon rises, well, I guess it's, uh, there's the blood moon. As the blood moon rises, we are going to call the episode. I am going to keep working on all this dirt going back behind me there. And try to start setting up for a base. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed all the loot boxes, actually. Let me check one more thing. Guys, I think I saw some quests go. I don't know if... Yeah, there's, there's some more quests. Let's open some loot chests to finish this off. Four loot chests. We've got... Eh... Not good, uh, average, and a portal gun. Huh. Wonder how you... Oh, there it is. Uh... I just go through here and it'll pop me out there. Awesome. Let's uh, put that portal there. Eh. That's cool. Love the portal. Alright, well, that is pretty cool. I think I can just... Oh, I can just break the block that it's on. Uh-oh. I don't know where that one's going. <laughs> Anyways, I have yeah, a portal, portal gun arm. I will, it doesn't look like it hit anything. I will see you guys next week. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching, guys.